I'm Stephanie with Transfer Express, the leading manufacturer of custom screen printed and digital heat transfers. Pricing your apparel is the single most important challenge you will face in your new business. Pricing can make or break your business. We know it is hard to let a customer walk away saying your price is too high. We want to help you find that sweet spot that keeps your customer ordering and you in business profiting. Today, let's review two pricing strategies and show some apparel and see how to price them. First strategy is to research competitors' prices, like local competitors and online competitors, like Custom Inc. This is a strategy that is surprisingly popular. You have access to Custom Inc. online, and so does your customer, so you can see what they would sell it for and charge a little less. The second strategy is cost-based pricing. In cost-based pricing, you take your direct labor costs and your materials, add them to your overhead, and that's going to equal your pricing cost. To calculate your direct labor, like using goof proof for four seconds, is the time to load your shirt and put the transfer on the press. That's going to take you about one minute per shirt. So if you charge $15 an hour, your labor cost is 25 cents per shirt. To calculate your direct materials, all you need to do is add your shirt cost, plus the transfer cost, and the shipping. Then add your overhead. The overhead is the calculation of your indirect expenses and the direct expenses. These expenses could include accounting and legal expenses, administrative salaries, depreciation, insurance, licenses and government fees, your property taxes, rent, and also your utilities. A good rule of thumb, and one that works for most companies, is to charge 15% overhead. The next step is to determine how you are selling. Are you selling wholesale, or are you selling retail? If you're selling wholesale, you'll take your cost times two, and that's going to be your wholesale cost. If you're selling retail, you'll take your wholesale cost times two, and that'll be your retail price. Let's compare the strategies for this one color shirt using Goof Proof with a quantity of 25. With this example and the cost-based pricing strategy, you'll add your direct labor, direct materials, and your overhead, and you'll come to $5.18 per shirt. Now, if you're selling wholesale, which would be one person buying all 25, like a group or a team, your price would be $10.36. If you're selling retail, like on an Etsy store, you can charge $20.72. When we check our competitors' prices, like on Custom Inc., they're selling this shirt for $9.66 each. In this example, for a two-color print on a hoodie, with a front design and a sleeve, and a quantity of 25, we'll look at the cost-based strategy first. Taking our transfer cost, our shirt cost, our overhead, and our labor, your total comes to $19.30. You can sell this shirt to a team for $38.60 per shirt, and you profit a total of $483. In our competitor's pricing strategy, they're charging $30.24. In this last example, we're taking a full color design and putting it on performance wear with a quantity of 25 shirts. In the cost-based pricing strategy, we're going to take our direct labor cost, material costs, and the overhead, and your total cost for this shirt comes to $13.72. Now, if you're selling this to a team, you can sell this for $27.44, and you're going to profit $343. Now when we check onto our competitor's prices, like on Custom Inc's price check, they're selling this same shirt for $24.95. As you can see, you just need to protect your profit margins and be sure you're not losing money. Comparing your cost plus pricing versus a competitor can help you adjust your pricing for your customer's budget and avoid them walking away while you're still making a profit. For business tips and videos, visit our YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below. Happy pressing!